Hello, Eleni Shia here and welcome or welcome back to my fluid art channel. Today I'm going to do a chaos uh, swipe. So I'm actually just putting my titanium white by Amsterdam. So this will be my negative space and now I'm going to blow it out with my hairdryer and then just make sure that the sides are completely covered uh, using my finger or a palette knife. I find using a hairdryer to blow the base around uh, ensures I get a nice even coverage. My hairdryer is a Drew Barrymore flower hairdryer um, and it's a travel hairdryer. It has one speed, uh, it has two speeds but um, it doesn't have a cool setting but I absolutely love it. It works really well for me. You can buy it from Amazon. I got it from Amazon UK but I think they come from America, so if you're American, you can probably get it easy. Starting off, my first colour is Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. And I'm just putting it on randomly. Um, and that's the first layer, because this colour can take over sometimes. The next colour is Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. Liquitex Basics Ultramarine Blue. Phthalo Cayenne Emerald by PBO. Iridescent Blue Green by PBO. Iridescent Copper by PVO. And Iridescent Gold by PBO. So I've just come up with a new additive to make cells and lacing. And the recipe is 60 grams of paint and 40 mils of water and three drops of linseed oil. I'm sure someone else has come up with this before. I'm, I'm, I haven't seen it myself, but it actually really works really well and is the closest to Australian flow troll. And also you get no oily residue with it. But somehow the linseed dries perfectly with no, no residue whatsoever. And it actually seals the painting at the same time. So this is it now, and uh, I'm just putting it on the back of my palette knife. Um, and I absolutely love the effect. It's totally different to using serum. With serum, I think you get like irregular, round and funny shaped cells. Uh, with this, you get some nice tight lacing and some pretty cells as well. When you're using slightly thicker paints, you're gonna get more of a bloom-like effect. Look how pretty the palette knife is. So now I'm going in with a straw just to break up some of the black on the end. And then I'm gonna spin it rather than tilt it so that I can keep the shape of the light lacing in the cells. So in this one, I used a long swipe using my large palette knife. Um, and that was because I wanted to get this composition. But if you're using little small swipes, you're gonna get much more detail and sort of larger lacing.
I'm going in with a skewer just to give the edges a little bit of um, interest and, and some squiggly effects. I do like the way we've got some black edging on, on each on each side. I think that kind of really adds to the piece. If you're enjoying this video, do me a favour, like, comment and share. And so you don't miss out on any future videos, please do subscribe. It helps this channel immensely with no cost to yourselves. Thank you. Here we are, river of cells and lacing, and I just love the way we have a, a black border on each side. And look at that lacing, it's absolutely stunning. Some nice cells, really lovely. Look at that there, some lovely shimmery colours. I think this linseed works really, really well. It dries perfectly. No oily residue. Colours are stunning. Some lovely cells in between the lacing. And I just love this crisp lacing. It reminds me of a little bit of Australian flow troll. So I can't get Australian, the Australian flow troll and I've been trying to get a similar look and you just can't get it with serum or anything else that I've tried and I think this is the closest I've got and I think that it would work even better with slightly thicker paints like that you use for blooms. Let me know if you try it with the linseed oil. I'd like to, I'd be interested to see how your results are, especially if you're using thicker plague, thicker paints. Absolutely stunning. I love the composition. Let me know what you think in the comments. My new and easy paint mix ratio is made up of three parts paint, four parts pouring medium, consisting of two parts PVA glue and two parts of water, and then extra water to consistency. If you want a paint mixing video, I have the original one that I made with Oatrol, and that's in the description.